Afternoon pop pickers, you vegetastic people. Only me again, Sean from Happy Days Veg. Right, you find me on a glorious day. Even though there's a few grey clouds over there, don't worry about them, they're not coming this way. You can see roughly where I am. You can see all my potatoes, where I've had to cut. I got blight on my potatoes due to the, the terrible weather we're having. So I'm due to harvest some of my first potatoes either today or tomorrow but that's a different subject but apart from some of the main crops down there which are still looking okay i've cut the tops off all the other potatoes down there if you look that grass looks in perfect condition and that's because i've cut it twice today i let the grass grow a bit too long and we've had terrible weather and my rod on lawnmower doesn't like picking the grass up when the grass is wet so I try not to cut my grass when the grass is wet. So it's, it's been a bit slightly damp, but I had to do it. Yesterday, I done the garden and the path sack around me one field. And today, I've done all round there. I've had the strimmer out. I've strimmed round all the edges, strimmed round all the polytunnel. I've gone over it with my ride on lawnmower. Then I've gone over it with my self-propelled walk behind mower to cut it a bit shorter and pick up all the grass clippings. This section of the grass here, where I'm standing by my uh, self-watering system, uh, my heart, rainwater harvesting system, this is the only grass that's got to be cut now. And I can't do it for two, well, for one simple reason. Behind you, I've got my little Kubota tractor and the trailer uh, there. So let me turn you around and I'll tell you what I'm up to today amongst a million other jobs. Right. Strange bit of an angle for filming, but I don't know if you can see the tractor, but you can definitely see my blue trailer. And in the field there, you can see my uh, thousand litre IBC container. You'll never guess what I got here. Look at this. I'm in the UK, so you lot all know Mr. Kipling country slices. Look how small those are. I'm telling you now that Mr. Kipling is a robbing bastard. Pardon the French, but you know, I'm not holding back. Oh, I've boycotted the Summer Olympics in Paris. It's not all bad though, I've got a cup of tea. You know the rules. No tea, no work. Oh, it says on there, a cup of tea solves everything. I think it does. So, I shouldn't speak with my mouth full. <clears throat> so I won't, because that's rude. So what I'm up to. To cut the grass, I need to move this tractor and trailer. But while it's here, near the shed, I want to reinstate that IBC container on the wooden frame in my trailer so I can connect up my water, petrol water pump so I can reinstate that system because that container's doing nothing there. So that way, I've got a 1,000 litres of water with my pump that I can use for, for anything, topping up the... Uh, the uh, rainwater harvesting system but not just that I decided that not that you've ever seen it but down the bottom of my garden I've got an old uh, eco-friendly composting toilet that's in bad condition never been used by us and what used to be a bit of a Mickey Mouse uh, eco-friendly showering system so you could have a shower. Now, like a lot of things you find out when you move into an old property, a coat of paint hides a lot of things. As you can say, you can put makeup on a pig, but it's still a pig. So, I ummed and hard, ummed and hard, ummed and hard. It always crosses my mind. Shall I reinstate those two things down there, the toilet and the shower? Or shall I just, just leave them be? Because I do know I'm, I haven't touched them for six, five and a half years, you know. So I've decided that over the winter, my project is to, is to uh, rebuild them and get them in, in good working order, ready for next summer. So I can have some friends come camping they can have a campfire, they've got somewhere to go to the loo, they've got somewhere to have a shower. Job done. I'm gonna have a little mini I'm gonna have a little mini festival I think next year. 
so so before I move this I want to reinstate this because this is a great setup and if we do have a bit of a not that we are going to have a hose pipe ban now because it hasn't stopped raining since it hasn't I don't think it stopped raining since uh, have you ever heard of a bloke called Moses not Moses Noah and it was a mate of Moses it hasn't stopped raining since he built his ark if you believe that kind of thing so first thing I need to do I need to find four big 8 mil bolts and washers and nuts to fix this wooden frame down. I've had a quick look, I can't find them, I don't know where the original ones are, so I'm going to have to make some. So I'm going to finish my tea and then I'm going to get back to you. Mm. Can't beat a cake. Right then, I finished my cup of tea but I need another one because I've been working hard today. So. You can see I've got the wooden frame back in. I kept that out the trailer. I kept that in the racks in the shed over the winter. Keep it dry. Job done. If you can hear some kids screaming and shouting, they're just the kids playing down here. My neighbour's grandkids. Playing in the stream, I think. Right. This tank is not fixed down. Oh, sorry, I found the four big nuts and bolts that I take it out last year. I knew I'd had them somewhere, but I thought, where, did, where would I have put them? I would have put them somewhere at hand when I took it all apart, and I found them. There's a bit rusty, but I cleaned them up and I put them back on. So this frame is bolted to the trailer. This IBC tank isn't fixed down. It is just sitting, and it's wedged in between some piece of 3B2 timber. So it's wedged that way, so it can't go anywhere that way. And it can't go anywhere front or backwards, so it's wedged in there. But it's easy enough to take it out. So, the keen-eyed observers amongst yourselves will realise that there's a... You say, Sean, what have you got this... You've got a bloody fire hose here. And I was, I've been after one of these fire hoses for ages. And you get them for sale on Facebook Marketplace and other places. And they are very, very expensive, even old second-hand ones like these. So, I went to my local uh, oil company that sells all the oils, hydraulic oil, engine oil, every oil and everything like that you can think of. And uh, that's where I also get my, I don't know if you can see, my burning barrels from, right? So I get those big 50 gallon ba oil barrels for burners. Now everybody sells them on, on Facebook, but this guy gives them away, right? So I'm not gonna mention the name of the company because I don't want everybody going there and pinching all my barrels. So when I went round the back to put, put a barrel on the van, after I've been in there and I spent, uh, what what did I want? I wanted some, uh, uh, brake fluid for my truck. I need some engine oil, some peripherals. Anyhow, this was all battered and bruised out the back. And I said to him, can I have that hose? He says, it's not mine, I'll go and check it, come back. He says, yeah, you can have it for nothing. So I got this for free. So what I did, I took it all apart, as you do when, in a, when you're a bit of an engineer and a bit of a, you know, a, a bit of a tinkerer. Cleaned it all up, got the hose, took the hose off, turn the hose around, lay the hose on the floor here, turn the hose around so the old sun sunburnt hose and the, the used end is inside and it gives me a, a, a brand spanking new, even though there's some dates on here where it's been serviced. Because when they service it, they pull all the hose out and they write the date on the very end of the hose because this, this is the hose that was connected inside. So... Yeah, so it was serviced in June 2016. And the last service was the 19th of January 2018. So, so that's that. And then, as I said, I fitted this twisted handle, strained it all out. But the only thing was, 
the piece that connects it to the wall was broke. So I've cut some piece of 4 to one by 4 to one medium duty slotty juni strut, and I've cut it. I made two 10 mil U-bolt clamps, bolted it on. And what I want to do is, this is about 30 meters long, between 25 and 30 meters long. I want to be able to fix this. I don't want to fix it here, because this is the outlet to the tank. This is where the water pump is. This is where my spare fuel tank and all will be for my uh, for me pump and hoses. And this is also where I drop the back down and I stand up to put the hose on the top and all sorts of bits and bobs. So this, I don't want it on the side because it will protrude too much. So I'm going to mount this on the back here. So let me just move the camera to show you. So. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet. But all the weight will be ta hopefully taken up by this piece of timber here, by some legs. I'll have some metal unistrut bolted through, through these, hopefully somehow, without drilling into this. And then that hose will sit on there and you'll be able to pull the hose off either this way or that way. 25, 30 metres, which is fine for, uh, you know, for getting water to a closer area where you can't get your tractor and your trailer. And then I'm just going to have a connection coming off the bottom of that hose, which will connect straight onto the outlet of my pump. And then the inlet pump will connect a hose, which I've already got on the bottom of this. And that's a thousand litres of water. And when that pump's running full blast, it takes five minutes to either fill or empty this container. But when you, when you use the same full power, but less outlet size, you get higher pressure and a uh, slightly slower uh, rate of, uh, of uh, water coming out. So that's what I want to do. Right then, I've done it. So I've took some photographs of the, the metal framework behind here. So basically, I've used two short lengths of medium duty, four to one by 21 slotted unistrut. And the cross members here, which is holding the hose onto the back pieces, is four to one by four to one medium duty slotted unistrut. Some 10 mil nuts and bolts holding this to that. I could only, because the thickness of this, I could only get six mil in. So I've got six mil nuts and bolts holding everything onto there job done so because uh because when i got this it was all bent and battered i took it all apart and i straightened it all out and I, as i said i turned the hose around so i have got a fitting like a, a hose fire hose fitting to go on the end of there but i don't think i'm going to use it uh, we'll see. But as I say now, this, you can pull it off this side or you can put it off the other side. And when you come to roll it all in, it, it runs really smoothly because, because I, uh, I've cleaned it all up and I've greased it all up and it's all beautiful. And as I say, I've got this rotating slotted handle. So I'm over the moon with that. So all I've got to do now is somewhere I've got the fitting for this that I took out of there. I need to go to the plumbing supplies and get a fitting to go from there, connected to some kind of flexible rubber hose, which can go around and connect to the outlet of my, uh, of my petrol water pump. Then that way I can suck the water directly, directly out of this tank, through the pump, into here, and as I say, this is 25, 30 metres of hose, which is uh, ample. So if we do have, uh, if we do have a, uh, uh, a spell of hot weather, like we did last year, we had a spell where it didn't rain at all for six, six weeks. So you need some extra water for your vegetables and whatever. And maybe you want to use some water out the stream to water your lawn or jet wash your van or clean down your polytunnel or anything. Or if you want to have some water somewhere on your land because you want to mix up some 
s cement or whatever. This is this is what I've got this for. Uh, so what else do I need to do? This area here is where I'll store all my other hoses. And then the pump sits on the back. Now, I want the pump to be on there uh, all the time. So what I need to do is I need to come up with a way that I can make the pump. I need to be able to take the pump off, but I need the pump to be uh, weatherproofed. But saying that, it's no big hardship just to keep the pump in the shed and put it on as and when you need it. But the main aim of the game today was to get this on here. And I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. And all I might do is I just might put a, uh, uh, some, kind of, uh, some kind of hook or strap or bungee spring just to hold that in position so it doesn't turn round while I'm, uh, I'm driving along. Job done. Right. Last job of the day, I've got to move this tractor. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to turn this tractor around, or I've reversed back in the field, so I can cut all this grass. Job done. I'm pleased with that. Happy days.